Hello, everyone. So we're here today to move forward with the lessons of A Course in Miracles. And um, today we're going to, uh, I'm going to read the lesson three. So here it is, lesson three. I do not understand anything I see in this room, on this street, from the window and in this place. It says to apply this idea in the same way as the previous ones without making distinctions of any kind. Whatever you see becomes a proper subject for applying the idea. Be sure that you do not question the suitability of anything for application of the idea. These are not exercises in judgment. Anything is suitable if you see it. Some of the things you see may have emotionally charged meaning for you. Try to lay such feelings aside and merely use these things exactly as you would anything else. The point of the exercises is to help you clear your mind of all past associations, to see things exactly as they appear to you now, and to realize how little you really understand about them. It is therefore essential that you keep a perfectly open mind unhampered by judgment in selecting the things to which the idea for the day is to be applied. For this purpose, one thing is like any other, equally suitable and therefore equally useful. Again, the lesson is, I do not understand anything I see in this room, on this street, from this window, in this place. So lesson one was nothing I see means anything. Lesson two was I have given everything. I see all the meaning that it has for me. And now I do not anything, I do not understand anything I see. Just want to share a little bit more about the Course in Miracles. In the Course in Miracles, the voice of the Course itself is Jesus. Jesus and the Holy Spirit are the same. Jesus represents the thought system of love, of innocence, and wholeness. So the Course is a self-study thought system that is between you and the Holy Spirit, and it helps you it helps us to undo the ego. So the Course in Miracles, it uses Christianity uh, or Christian, I should say, terminology. Uh, it's not, but it's not a religion. And it's not meant to be a religion. So I mentioned ego. And, and again, this is a process in the very beginning here. And even when you've completed this course, you're still going to work on undoing the ego. So I make reference to the ego and God and that the ego is edging God out. And the ego is based in thoughts of fear, scarcity, loss, and lack, and, and guilt. You know, it, it's, it's dualistic. The world we are in is dualistic, but the Course in Miracles is non-dualistic. The Course in Miracles is shifting our perceptions. It, again, as I said, it's a mind training. It is uh, shifting your thoughts from fear-based to love. And God, God is love. God is innocence. God is wholeness. God is right-mindedness, the Holy Spirit. So 
in the world here, uh, the dualistic world that we've come to and in which we have chosen to separate from God. We believe, or I shouldn't say chosen, we believe that we are separate from God. In the dualistic world, you know, we think in terms of right and wrong, good and bad. Um, and, and the Course talks about the illusion, the illusion of the world, the dream. It says that we are dreaming and it'll reference that we are here to wake up from the dream and the illusion. And um, the Course is dealing with unconscious guilt. And, and guilt um, is, the, um, is the root cause of all suffering. You know, we feel guilty at a deep level, unconsciously, subconsciously. We feel um, guilty because we've separated from God. Now, again, God is not is non-dualistic. And the Course in Miracles is, is speaking from non-dualism. And again, the process is undoing the ego, the fear-based ego, the false ego. That's not who we are. We are a spirit. We are a child of God. In non-dualism, in non-dualism, non God is. There is no right or wrong. There is no bad or good. It is. God is. Uh, and this is the truth. This is the truth that we are living into. That's what is buried underneath our egoic thought system. Our egoic thought system based in fear and loss and scarcity, suffering and death. So God is oneness. And it's, we're, it's about a one mind. We are a one mind. So it also is going to refer to cause and effect. You know, we're dealing all the time with the effects, but we're not dealing with the cause. The cause is our thoughts. And we project those thoughts out there into the world. And we see the effects of our thoughts. We are projecting our thoughts and that creates our perception. So the Course in Miracles is a spiritual psychotherapy. It's been termed that. You're doing your own, again, being really honest about your thoughts and those thoughts that you're projecting out of the world. So at the very beginning, it said that nothing real can be threatened. Nothing unreal exists. And herein lies the peace of God. I hope that's helpful. You're going to hear reference to that quite often throughout your practice of the lessons. And again, I really encourage you, if you haven't already started, to, to begin reading the text. I mean, you can just do the text or you can just do the lessons. But those who have studied with me over the years understand or know that who I am is, is about practice, 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 and practice again. And as I mentioned earlier, this is what I do for myself in my life, is every day to be conscious of undoing the ego. That's my commitment. That's my commitment to stay in the space of love. Okay, I'm going to leave it at that for today. And again, remember, you know, you don't have to understand these lessons. They may be triggering you. And that's a place to look. And also, I strongly suggest that you, again, continue to journal. Take this time in every day and, and do these lessons as you're instructed. There is a process. And there's a place to, to be with it. So, again, thank you for being here. And I'll continue to make the request. To please subscribe if you haven't already. And please like. What's the other thing? Oh, yeah, notification. If, there, if it's on there, I don't know if I've set it up yet, but please hit the notification bell.
And that truly does support me in getting this message, this message of A Course in Miracles out to others. So have a, have a blessed day and have a miracle filled day. See you tomorrow. And I will learn how to turn this off at some point. Okay.